Jamima got her juice back, yeah. Yeah. Hey Gems, it's Grandma's Jamima and we are back at it. There we go. Oh, let me start all over because ooh, shine bright like a diamond. Child, not me knocking over. Oh my oh Lord. Okay. Ah. Ah. Hey gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima, and we are back at it again with another motherfucking vlog, baby. Um I am about to transform real quick so I can film a video edit and get it out because your girl has things to do we're gonna be productive today i need to place a target order so i can use my nespresso machine i need creamer and i need almond milk i think that's what i need a lot of people use like heavy cream and stuff i know y'all drinks be busting but i can't go that route there's only a, a, so many l's i'm willing to take and a heavy cream l ain't one of them okay listen like i know my life is off track right now but not that damn off track golly you know first of all what i need to do is do a deep clean of this room i need to deep clean my apartment is that gonna happen no not today um but i'm gonna do my laundry though yeah the laundry i keep complaining about yeah i'm doing that today i'm starting that today You judging me, and there's a whole pile of laundry on your bed right now, sis. You slept on a corner of the bed. Yeah. You and your man, y'all were sleeping light. Come on. Pot calling the kettle black. Be for real. <laughs> it's the delusion for me, darling. The delusion. Oh, ciao. I'm not gonna say too much, but I'm telling y'all, every time I sit and have conversation with men, they just remind me why I be joking and kicking. But that life is just, it's not for me. Cause the delusion, like I really just gotta mind my business. Like mind my business. And that's it because these men are delusional and I wish I can give you more detail, but it ain't none of y'all business. Now I probably shouldn't have brought it up because now y'all gonna wanna know. <laughs> now y'all gonna wanna know the tea. Why do I keep dropping? You know what, Jimmy Mo, you getting mad, but why do you have so much stuff over here anyways? Your jewelry doesn't belong here. Yeah, yeah. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <sighs> All right, let me go ahead and, and transform um, into a new person with this makeup and then I'm gonna come back and kiki with y'all. Yeah. Okay, so I did some light catfishing. Um, yeah, and I need to moisturize cause it's, ooh, go, come on now. Something always wanna fall, like be for real. Um. This is going to be a Target accessories haul, including shoes. Now, I did not realize my leg hair was, why did it grow so fast? Like I just shaved and I'm not, um, it's too late, it's too late. I'm just gonna be a hairy beast, but I don't have to be a fully ashy beast. Should I have also scrubbed my feet? Sheesh, <laughs> yes. I'm gonna take care of that later on tonight. Um, I ordered, I have a callus treat. <sighs> Y'all know I'm a maximalist. I don't even want to be. I mean, I do want to be, I just don't wanna see it. <laughs> I just want like my own private Target store in a separate location. And when I want, I just go in, take what I want, use it and then put it back. I don't want it like, in my immediate vicinity. Anyways, the point I'm making is that I bought another callus treatment thingy. I want to try it out. I think it's from Deborah Lipman or something like that. I think I got it from Sephora. 
So I'm gonna try that tonight with my little stainless steel situation um, to see if it gives me rub on your daddy's leg. And um, I will keep y'all updated. Hopefully I remember to actually do it. That's one thing about me. I'm getting a little tired of my broken promises, promises. <laughs> I'm tired of my own promises. Like, I'd be so full of hope, pep in my step, think I'm gonna be doing all these things in one day. And then by the end of the day, I'm just like, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had the best intentions, I promise. <laughs> I really did. And it just, nothing just, nothing came to fruition, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I need a real thick, I didn't, oh. Oh, I took my Fenty and I put it in my suitcase. I don't have any Fenty in here. I need something thick because this is, has been my go-to lately. But for what I need for my feet, well, that's my smuggle lotion. I feel like I'm going to save that for when I'm leaving the house, you know? Like, I don't have to use smuggle lotion and smell good. Like, all right, that's the one a little too much. We're going to use Nivea regular and then a little smuggling on top like let's not go overboard okay okay i'm gonna mix this nivea with some oils and hope that does the job but i'm not gonna lie i was swept up by the last show the last episode of Swatch that I was watching while I was doing my makeup. And I was done my makeup and I was still watching the show. And I was like, all right, let me at least finish it out and then when it's done, I'll get back on it. So I'm behind on time. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad when it's over, but also I'll be happy to have my life back, like for real. Because this is, it's too much for me. It's too much. Um, I also need to go ahead and place my target order so that it'll be here by the time I'm done filming. Cause I really want to try and make a drink with my coffee, my new Nespresso. Yo, I was cracking heavy Nespresso jokes. Like, <laughs> I love when people get my sense of humor, like, and not only get it, but they tag team and they encourage it. Like truly, <sighs> anyways, yeah, I need my Fenty because that's really the only thing that really like gets into the crevices. But I don't feel like going to the room right now. So this will just have to do. I'm gonna put a layer of this gel oil, oil gel situation. Um, that's gonna make me look like, um, the aftermath of eating Haitian spaghetti. <laughs> um, but that's fine. That's fine. Wow, that's fine. My hair, and it's so like thick. And it sticks straight out like, girl, what is the problem? You just all want to embarrass somebody. Oh, Lord. You know, I had this anklet on my, what am I talking about? J all right, y'all, let me go. Because one thing about it, if I leave this camera off for too long, I'm talking about nothing. Bye, okay? Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what? Um, Quick update. Yeah, she did the trick. <laughs> I mean, I can't put my feet in no shoes for real because it's giving slip and slide, but these legs is greased up, baby. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> Lord, what a day. What a day, what a day, what a day. Um, I need to get this light bulb replaced. Expeditiously. Oh, my booty hurt. And um, I'm tired, I'm tired. I am putting a cap on my work for today because your girl has plans tonight. Yeah, I need to get cute tonight. <laughs> Y'all, they are turning up outside. Like, I wanna go. Oh, they been having fun all day. Bro, like they were all in my video and everything. Just living life. But you know what, Gina? Don't be mad. No, don't be mad. Cause you could have done work yesterday. 
but you wanted to, to not do much and you got paid for today. Did we know that today was gonna be Lydia like this? No, but that that's what happens. Do your work when you plan to do it and then when things pop up, you'll be ready to go. You can participate. You can go outside and kiki, fellowship, mingle, make friends, participate. Oh, child. Mm. Anyways, I had some things that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so let's get to it. <sighs> Excuse me. I filmed my video, put that up. I absolutely detest doing same day filming and uploading. It's the worst, uh, but luckily I was able to get through it and we're good to go. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Gonna have to pop out a Red Bull for tonight. Um. What was I doing? Oh, ha! <laughs> Hold on. I still have not shown you guys my perfumes from Dallas. Mm. <sighs> this is basically gonna be a mini haul of everything I've been accumulating over the past couple of weeks. <sighs> Starting off with Mula Mula, yay yay. Yay, yay. This is my first purchase. Check, why put the box cutter? Why is this cushion out like this? Oh. You're having so much fun outside. But I was like, uh-uh. I've been putting this off far too long. Look how beautiful this is definitely one of the top tier packaging like look how she's just like casually just laying down it low key is giving funeral <laughs> but this is cute though yay yay i sprayed oh my god i was gifted the carolina herrera good girl supreme she smells delicious. I'm wearing her now, actually. So I'm hoping. Oh, I'm so glad I got this. I'm so glad I got this. <coughs> oh, I just peed. I got a shower right after this. It went straight in my throat. Mm, okay, I need to put her somewhere safe, child. Protect the fragrance. But I'm so freaking glad I got her. She smells amazing. Like sweet, very sweet, but like still beautiful. But if you're not a fan of sweet scents, you're not, you're probably not gonna like it. Um, but wow, she smells amazing. I will spot on with that one. Next we have Royal Sapphire. You know, one of the good things about waiting so long to open my packages is that I get to rediscover them and re-fall in love with them. So I'm kind of like, oh my God, Royal Sapphire. What does it smell like? It's almost like a gift to myself. I, you know, forgetting things so easily is usually a curse, but sometimes in cases like this, I can make it into a blessing, you know? The packaging though, I'm living. Like I, I'm living, I'm living. And I see we're having a blue bottle scene. Okay, okay. I can still smell Mula Mula. Oh, I think I'm wearing that tonight. She smells so good. I'm trying to think if I can compare her to something, what would I compare her to? Oh, she smells so good. Like. I have to look up the notes. There has to be some kind of vanilla or something in there. But like, okay, that's small royal sapphire. Oh, this is definitely more on the fresher end. 
mm, it's like fresh but it still has like how was that all the trash it still has like i i want to say if you mix a fresh smelling f uh, perfume with the original good girl it would make some kind of something like this i like i like oh i make good choices okay this one is electimus london Ooh, big papa is heavy whoa Big Papa is heavy. Y'all know purple is the color of royalty. Who's gonna clean this mess later? The way I'm just casually throwing the wrapping to the side. Look it! Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Look it! Wow. Wow. Look at the side of this, like. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a heavy. I would never travel with this. Like, this is a heavy bottle. You can knock somebody's thoughts out the wazoo if you hit them on the head with this. Like, wow. Cranium. <laughs> wow. This bottle? My goodness. Okay, let's spray right here. It smells like royal. Oh my! This reminds me of something. Whoa! This is a powerful fragrance. My goodness! I feel like it smells rich, but like there's like rich that's kind of like I want to say not even classic, like an understated wealth. Like the Byredo fragrances, I feel like it gives understated wealth. Like Mojave Ghost, I feel like there's a certain look in my mind, or Bal that I a certain look that I go for when I wear them. Um, also, what else gives me that vibe? There's a couple of my, in my collection. This gives me rich, but like flashy. This gives me wealthy Nigerian, like, in the best way like Zanny ah! I'm looking for my journey yeah <laughs> oh like I'm talking about like your 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 millions and billions comes from oil okay like oil but like it runs deep it runs deep Okay, and I feel like you might be wearing this. So if you're out there, Johnny, I'm looking for my Johnny. Do you want shut up? And then Peyton gifted me these, which smells divine, darling. Now I haven't used the body butter yet, but this smells so freaking good. This is the Kama Sutra Revitalizing Body Oil from Skin Potion. Um, created with sea buckthorn and Bulgarian rose. It smells amazing. There's even like little pieces of rose in there. I don't know if you guys can see, but this smells delish. Um, yeah, like I said, I haven't used the butter yet. Let me go ahead and open this. Cause you know what? It's time. It's time. My goodness. Oh, wow. This one is really like developing. Ooh, I cannot wait till they like dry down some more. So I can give like, so I can feel like 100% of what I was getting when I was smelling it at the scent room. Oh man. Ooh, tonight's shower routine is going to be amazing for sure. Okay. Um, and then my fragrances from Amir Oud. Some of you guys have been telling me about how you guys have been visiting Amir Oud. Ah, I love that. Like it's affordable, they smell good, the customer service is amazing, the vibes of, of Amir Oud is amazing. Um, hello, look at my perfumes. Um, this one is my Delina Exclusive dupe. Oh, love that, and the packaging, like hello, so pretty. 
Um, what else do I have? This is the mix Baccarat Rouge and Madawi. I've never smelled Madawi on its own, so I'm definitely gonna have to look for that to see what it's giving in person. But like together, this is what I was wearing when I first met Ravuka in, in Dallas and she complimented me, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what else is there? This, oh, okay, so. Peyton had recommended a mix with Baccarat and uh, Santal 33. And I'm not a Santal girl by any means, but this mix is the one that I kept smelling on my arm. You guys have no idea how much of this. <sighs> I had to cut out the footage. You thought you saw a lot? <laughs> Please. This is it. This is her right here. And I got a small one because I said, as, as good as it smells, it may not necessarily be one that I gravitate towards. So we're gonna see. And if I finish her the next time I'm in Dallas, I'm definitely gonna get a bigger size. Oud Vanilla. This is from Amir Oud. Yes, I think this is the oil. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I'm ready for fall. Like, I really am. I'm ready to wear my Ouds and my heavy fragrances. Silky Woods. This is basically a prettier packaging of the Vanilla Virtues. And as soon as that one finishes, I'm getting this because it's just pretty. Yeah, I'm that girl. Blanche Beth. Oh yeah, this is another sample that I wanted from Scent Room. Okay, so these are from Scent Room for sure. So I'm gonna make sure I put these to the side because I definitely want to try them out to see how they work with my chemistry before I was sold on them. Ooh, ooh. I think I have one more from Amir Oud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet musk. Yeah. Ooh, I cannot wait to play in these again. Okay. Um, Refinery also sent me a package. Um, and it featured this body mist in the scent jungle Santal. And they sent me the perfume in magnetic candy. So I'm gonna play around with these as well. So I've been picking up a lot of like odds and ends from a bunch of different places. So we're just gonna do one collective haul, apparently. <laughs> Listen, okay? When I move, you move, just like that. Okay. Oh yeah, hey DJ, we're not bad. <laughs> so starting off, um, you guys remember the watches I showed you from the brand Breda from Instagram? I got got by another Instagram ad. <laughs> and they have a watch ring and i've seen these around like not this brand in particular but this kind of thing in general so when i saw this and i was like it was like a hundred something dollars so i was like it's fairly reasonable um i'm on it <laughs> my pip hand is way strong yeah so it does have a stretchable band which means that you can put it on any finger. But personally, I'm gonna wear it on my pinky because, huh, oh, maybe I really can. Oh, because I was wondering about the whole stretchable band thingy because I was like, eventually the elastic is gonna give out and I'm gonna lose my money. But this does not have elastic bands. They use, they're using some kind of like metal mechanism to have them stretch out. Either way, I'm still gonna wear it on my, my pinky just because it fits perfectly on there. And my pinky is like a size seven, I think. So, um, well, just for reference, let me put this on my biggest finger, which is my thumb. So it does open it up a little bit more, but it's fairly comfortable and you can do it. And my biggest finger is, I guess, 10, 11-ish. Um, so yeah. <laughs> my fingers range between 7 and 11. Ah, 7 11. Okay, but yeah. You can make it work on any finger. <clears throat> Speaking of jewelry ish, I purchased these glasses necklaces. Because <laughs> sometimes I don't want to deal with my contacts. Like, I want to just wear my glasses. And I feel like this is a good way to add some pizzazz without, you know, 
having to do the most especially since i have to be very particular about necklaces because one i struggle to <laughs> i struggle to buckle them like to clasp them and also most of the time they're too small for my neck shawty got a big old neck oh yeah so i feel like you know i can get a similar look by using these on my glasses and also i feel like it makes my glasses look cooler and it's about that time for me to get a new pair anyway so that's what i really need to focus on i keep saying i want to try out warby parker um but i really want a sponsorship but i don't know if that's i mean well clearly i'm not saying i don't know if that's coming or clearly not coming i just need to go and get my glasses because i need to see and mine are scratched up and dingy and chap <laughs> Y'all want to know this. Like, I don't know why I'm forever giving y'all information that nobody cares about. Um, if you guys watched my Amazon video, actually, we're not going to talk about that because I don't want to feel your judgment. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. Period. Fight me. Um, there is a guy on instagram he does like fat fashion kind of he's real swaggy which is what i love and he's been coming out with like sweatshirts and stuff and he came out with socks and of course i placed an order because i love what they say now it takes forever for you to get the order and i don't know how long these are gonna last but I'm excited nonetheless because, hello, can you imagine me in a fly AF outfit with these socks on? Like BFFR, like did I have to get all the colors? No, but did I anyways? Absolutely, absolutely. Put some respect on my name. You know who I am. You know who I am. Get it in another color. Get it in another color. So I also um, placed an order for some new earrings from the same girly that made, I don't know if you guys remember my triangle silver earrings when that dangles like hands down my favorite silver earrings of life it might be my favorite earrings in general i love those earrings and i asked her if she was planning on coming back out with those but she said not anytime soon so i don't know if that really means not anytime soon or never but i am obsessed with those earrings and i really want to know so that i could know if i should reference them in videos or not so now i know not to but i did buy some of her latest pieces 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 of me for the longest time i could not remember the name of her company or her instagram name and so i would try to find um the order and i'm just like i couldn't remember and i try to search by like silver earrings but to me you're always ordering earrings and stuff like it's just and then you always get a whole bunch of emails like i have a junk email and it was just mission impossible but i did a search again <laughs> and she had just sent out some kind of like promotion email or something for the company and as soon as I saw the name I was like boom that's it so I was super excited to find her again and I followed her on Instagram because I didn't follow her last time and basically her whole vibe like all her jewelry or her earrings is that she likes to make kinetic earrings like earrings that move and y'all know how I feel about earrings that move honey because I don't have hair that moves so my earrings gotta do some work all right so just for example like you see how this moves? I just, I love stuff like that. I, feel, I just find it fascinating. And they're cute. They're good quality. I think she hand makes them. So they are a bit on the pricier side. Like I said, she does hand make them. But I absolutely love her pieces. And I could not wait to get my hands on these new ones. Now I'm not going to hold y'all. I told y'all that triangle one is my absolute favorite pair of earrings just in life. Like look can you even see that but like uh, oh this one i feel like this one is definitely a statement hair okay oh these also move up and down oh wow like look 
OMG, hold on. I feel like I need y'all to really see like how this moves. Truly a statement piece. Oh, wow, 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 wow. She is a genius. Like you're making these, how? How? And best of all, because of the materials that she used, I don't have any issues. They won't make my ears burn or, or swell or anything like that, so yeah i'm obsessed i'm obsessed okay is that it like damn girl oh god okay so i did buy these <laughs> allegedly healthy noodles from the brand in me and I was suckered into this from TikTok. And honestly, it don't even look that good in the videos. I'm not gonna hold you. The, the noodles don't look like they absorb the water. They don't fluff up like regular noodles. But I figured I would give them a try because why not? <laughs> why not? Um, now, they, these are pricey. I think it's like six things of noodles. Where's my box opener? I wanna say it's like six packs of noodles. And I paid like 30 bucks for it, 20, 30, I don't remember exactly. Hold on, let's see if I can get an order. But yeah, I've never tried these. Maybe I'll try one tomorrow with you guys so we can see. Um, so this is spicy beef flavor, plant-based, 21 grams of protein, five grams of net carbs per serving. Like even if it's not the best freaking ramen you've ever heard of, if this is even just decent for the macros on this, yeah, I'm willing to try it. But we'll see. As pumpkin seed protein, good source of pat, pro, um, good source of potassium. I smell so good. I cannot even. Oh wow! This one has shifted. The dry down on this is so, it, it got sweeter. It, oh my God. Okay, this one has stayed pretty much the same. But this one, wow, I did not expect that to shift like that. I'm just like, what am I smelling? But see, that's the thing. When you can spray everything, it kind of mixes together. Ah! Girl, I, I'm so sorry, noodles, my bad. Yeah, so six noodles. I don't see an order slip, which I don't know how I feel about. Oh, it's not the bottom. I'm about to say, like, y'all tripping. Y'all not gonna put a little slip in there? Oh, no, it's not the bottom. Oh, that's ghetto. Why don't y'all have a little slip in here? Okay, but anyways, yeah, what other flavors do I have? Fake meal shrimp. Um, and lastly, black garlic chicken. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try it tomorrow. I'm a little scared because it might very well be nasty, but it could also be really good and there's only one way to find out. But yeah, anything with added protein in it though, it don't really be hitting like that. And the texture be off, but I've also never tried pumpkin protein. Um, so we're gonna see how those noodles taste. They are having so much fun outside. Okay, anyway, shout. I need to go get ready. Um, I have no idea what I'm wearing. I mean, it's real chill. I'm wearing sneakers. I probably just wear leggings and a, and a top, whatever. It's not, it's really not that deep at all. What I really need to do is shower. I need to shave my beard. I'm not doing none of that until next week. Like, I do not have the bandwidth to do anything with this body. <laughs> Even though it really needs to be done, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> Maybe I'll wax tomorrow. Yeah, let's do it step by step, day by day. Tomorrow we'll focus on waxing. We'll see. Don't nobody walk near me. Nobody talk to me. Stay away from me this summer because Jemima is smelling delicious. Okay? Don't come near me. Because if you come near me, you're going to want to come with me. <laughs> Just save the both of us the trouble, please.
Please. Good morning, y'all. Oh, this morning was a mess. I overslept. I fell asleep in the middle of setting up my lawn. Somehow I managed to wake up in just enough time to throw something together because I had brunch plans. Ooh. Anyways, uh, just got here. I'll explain the details to y'all later. I'm frazzled. I feel like I still have morning voice. This is my first time talking out loud this morning. Let's give it a man. This for me. And the biggest one is me. Oh. <laughs> okay, so brunch is done. See, that really makes all the difference. I really need to open my um, sunroof more often to let in my light. Even though it's casting a shadow directly over my freaking eyes, which are already smudged. My eyeball kept watering the entire time I was doing my makeup. Number one, I was already rushing. <laughs> Cause I told y'all I had overslept. So I was already rushing, already frazzled, trying to figure out what the heck to wear. And one thing about it, when Jamima has somewhere to go last minute, it can't think the fire outfit, she gonna throw on a dress, okay? I love me a good old dress. Throw it on, throw it off. <laughs> Why well, do that for her? Girl, be quiet. <laughs> um but yeah so the food i had was actually really good and y'all know i rarely say that about food here in atlanta perfectly seasoned and i even had pasta and you guys know i don't usually order pasta when i go out because it makes me feel heavy it didn't make me feel heavy and even though it's like a creamy like cajun pasta my stomach isn't rumbling it doesn't feel off like nothing i feel perfectly fine it was seasoned well it was so good um i tried some of um the grits that somebody else had so good i'm gonna have to be back it's definitely a turn up ish like loud music brunch place it's not like a chill really have a conversation and, and chit chat with your girlfriends um because baby they they gonna play that music and the bottom gonna be up okay um but the food is actually really good because y'all know I, I feel like everything here is salty <laughs> well too salty for my taste buds anyways no complaints full of flavor and not overly salty like i please please now i didn't try any of like their fried catfish or anything like that i just tried the grits and i had my shrimp um cajun pasta now when i first saw the bowl i was like where's the rest of it but it leaves you satisfied so they don't over serve but you do get a lot of catfish though so I don't, you get like real big pieces of catfish <laughs> why well, do like that real big pieces of catfish um and i just stopped by starbucks <sighs> why do i have an espresso machine my i've been telling you i've been having so many plans and they never come to fruition like did I try out the um thing, the foot scrubber for my feet? No, because I was in a rush last night. I was gonna make um, a coffee this morning. I placed an order at Target, so I got silk, almond milk. The one I have was a little old, it was time for her to go. I said, ciao. Mm -mm. Um, I got a creamer, not the one I usually get from Walmart, because I you know, did the order from Target, but it'll, it'll, it'll do, it'll do. And the plan was to have a nice little drink before I go out today properly hydrate with electrolytes you know none of that happened i don't even know how i managed to wake up just in time to clean my behind and get out the door i was only two minutes late well three three minutes late <laughs> um but yeah so here i go with a starbucks order i got my venti toasted vanilla oat milk shaking espresso <laughs> 
Mm. Oh! Oh! Mm. Oh, that's delish. Can't go wrong with that one, I'm telling you. You can't go wrong. It's not like super sweet or anything. Like it's just perfectly balanced. And the oat milk gives it enough creaminess and thickness. Cause I'm not even really an oat milk kind of girl, but in certain drinks, it works. It works. Like I feel like if I made hot chocolate, it would be amazing with oat milk. It just adds death to the drink. I want to be a food critic so bad and can barely boil water. Like be for real. But anyways, actually, let me sit here and press. Because I wasn't sure my car was going to be here when I got back. Because technically, I'm parked in Starbucks parking lot. I wasn't really sure. They do have a parking lot on the other side, which I didn't realize. Because I came in from this side. And I think they said it was $10 to park. So I said, I don't know if I should be parking here. But I, I, I am. I'm in a rush. I'm late. You're going to see my car still here. Thank goodness it is. But, um... It was a good vibe. The girls were a key. It was my first time meeting almost all of them. There's only one person there that I knew from before. Um, it was fun. It was really fun. Meeting new girlies, meeting gems while I was out. <sighs> y'all are so beautiful. Oh my God. I've been like, y'all really watch me? First of all, one of the gems, my girl, <laughs> she was like, you're like my Beyonce. I said, I was like, that is a top tier compliment. Me? Shout out to you, girl. You made my day. Not all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Me? Hey, love. <laughs> Let me stop cutting up. <laughs> mm. But I really, I really enjoyed it. I'll be back. I will be back. And I hope it hits the same way when I come back. Like, I would take somebody here, you know? I would bring somebody here. I like that. I like that. Ooh, chap. Oh, and I'm wearing my bag from Topshop. Yes. Oh, and the fragrances I showed you guys last night, the Mula Mula and the other one I said was giving, like, Nigerian rich poppy. Like, mm. I've been mixing those two and... I got my first compliment on the combo last night. Period, uh, period, uh. uh I'm wearing it again today. I was gonna say I'm nose blind, but I think I do still smell it. People love leaving me comments talking about, stop spraying so much, stop doing it, nah, 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 nah. By the time I walk outside, the fragrance is gone. Like, <laughs> it's only gonna be a little bit left, if even that. Like, Everything always looks exaggerated on camera, but the only time where I be like going in with perfume and I'm like, I know it's a lot is when it's bond number nine. Cause that stuff, tch, tch, bond number nine is strong. Okay. I'll never forget when I was at Starbucks. Hey, I've been at Starbucks a lot, huh? I went through the Starbucks drive through and a girl smelled my perfume through her mask in like in the window. I'm in my car. She's in the window and she's wearing a mask. She stole my perfume and she still smelled my perfume. So I was like, with that, all right. But any other time, can y'all let me enjoy my fragrances, please? Please, I work to buy perfume. Let me enjoy my fragrances. What are the odds that you're gonna be around me, sis? Tell me I'll be spraying too much. It's too much for you. Let me enjoy my fragrances. Those are my investments. <laughs> Let me, let me tell y'all something. Of course, what you plan. The level of productivity that I've had in the past couple of days. Baby, let me tell you something. <laughs> Your girl is mother freaking back, okay? Your girl is on her Beyonce flow, okay? Yeah, I mean, well, for the most part, work-wise, anyways. Um, y'all see all the junk in my back? Baby, I am at Goodwill. And I've been better about not letting stuff pile up, but maybe this time around, I had a mini Goodwill in my living room and it's time for it to go. Oh, thank God there's somebody here. Cause last time, child was not trying to work. Hold on. Cause I was like, if I have to carry this stuff out the car, after I had to put it in, mm -mm. 
that's that's gonna be a problem, truly. Is he, is he gonna come or what you want, sir? Hope, please. my breath because that was the manual labor. When I tell you, your, your girl is on it, okay? I've been on my Oxy Shred. That's been giving me a little boost. Your girl has a little energy. Well, I had a little coffee today. Your girl's drinking water. Mm. I've been getting work done. It feels really good to be back on my stuff. And, like, back on routine. Don't get me wrong. Not being on a routine feels good. But it only feels good because I have a routine. So now that I'm like getting back to the swing of things, I'm enjoying it until I'm ready for my next break. But I am at the post office to ship off a goodie to an amigo. And then it's like a really awkward time between lunch and dinner. Um, but I'm hungry. It's like I could go home. I actually need to edit and I don't want fast I'm gonna go to Olive Garden cause them salads be hitting all I need is soup and salad and I'll be good like then I can just warm up a little some or make a little some light later on tonight and I'll be good yeah that's the plan <laughs> we going to Olive Garden after this man that was a hassle for no reason and that's what happens when you just google a post office, they don't know where you at. I don't belong here because, ah, uh, child. So apparently the hours that are posted online are wrong. Oh, hey, Porsche. Um, yeah, so they were close and I was sitting here kicking and chopping it up with y'all and I was off by two minutes. Uh, but anyways, it was, there was no air in there. Luckily, they had a machine where you could like print out the postage and all that stuff, so that's great. Um, whew, trying to do some air. Oh, hey, Zaddy. Yeah, Zaddy with the Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that blew me. And then I think somebody tried to put a, a package that was too big inside the little package bin, and so like it won't open up, it's stuck. And I'm just like, bro, can somebody just, I just spoke with somebody. Please, just let me, let me give y'all this package. Like, you don't got no that. I just need to put it in the pile. Just, I just need to. And the next lady, thank goodness for her. 
Um, she was like, girl, she put in a little mail thing, which I didn't see, but it's for stamped letters, not for packages, but it fits y'all. I said, if it's stuck, it's stuck. So I'm going to figure it out. Nobody told Zaddy the post office was closed. I could have told you, Zaddy. I could have told you, Zaddy. But you ain't cool me from the Porsche. <laughs> um, yes, let me find the nearest Olive Garden. Even though I really should go home, but I feel like I could be in and out in an hour. Like, it's just salad. What y'all got to cook? It's just salada. Hey? Like, ¿qué es tu problema, eh? Es una salada que yo quiero. Uh, no, no necesito mucho tiempo. So, what's the, what's the problem? Period. No, I need to learn how to speak Italian because is this one way? No, it's not. All I can say is gonna be today. Okay, I gotta go into my GPS. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New phone spot alert. Is it taking up the whole windshield? Sure. Is it hard for me to see? Yeah. But do y'all see me? Oh, shoot. Not y'all, but can y'all see me better? Yeah. Yeah. Is this legal? I don't know. <laughs> John, no say. John, no say. I'm gonna be Spanish speaking so bad. Uh, Y'all, I started taking Duolingo and then I fell off. But I wasn't giving it the energy I really needed to give it for me to really like get my Spanish back. Uh, oh, shh. Why would they tell me to turn in there? That's crazy. What? I completely missed the turn I was supposed to take and it didn't even tell me. It was telling me to go somewhere else. That's crazy. Anyways, y'all, um, this might not be it because why are you lop Like the phone just, this is not working. This is not working. <laughs> Literally the second I sit down in my car, it starts raining. Literally the second I sat down in the car, it started raining. Like one and a half seconds longer. Cause ain't no way, ain't no way. I just barely missed this, y'all. Not a drop on me. Literally, I sat down, a drop fell on the door handle. That is crazy. Oh my God. But y'all, I was right. In and out, Um, in an hour. It could have been less than an hour, but last minute I decided to try out um, a small portion of the fettuccine alfredo because i thought i wanted unlimited soup but after that first little bowl i was like okay it's just cute i don't want nothing else though i don't want no other soup 
but I want to chew on something. And the Alfredo was the perfect size, the perfect price. It was only $4.99. It was like this big. And it did what it needed to do. I'm satisfied. Craving satisfied. Stomach satisfied. This is insane. Y'all, I just barely made it. And to think I'm about to go to my brother's house later on. I'm going home and I'm not leaving the house. Like, that's it for me. There is no more outside for me. So, yeah, let me go. But yeah, I was so productive. These I can't get over it. Like, I feel like I'm getting my juice back, getting my mojo back. Was that seasonal depression? I don't know. I'm back. That's all I know is that I'm back. Um... My alarm didn't go off this morning like it should have, so I woke up late, but I recorded, I took pictures, I recorded TikToks, I already have my content for today ready to upload. Actually, let me upload it now because I'm on a roll, so I might as well. Like, I am on it, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. Like, your girl took a piece of drop on the ground. Ah! ah! Jamima got her juice back, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me go ahead and post this. Yesterday I did laundry. Today I, oh, I have one more load to do. And I have to put the rest of the clothes away. But like I did laundry, um, I cleaned um, and organized my makeup. I didn't, well, I, I semi cleaned and organized my makeup desk. And I say semi because I was also washing swap, but I was multitasking, so it's double trouble. So right now I'm gonna go home, edit, I need to upload the video, upload my TikTok and Instagram video. Then I'm gonna put my clothes away and if I have time, I'm gonna wash my makeup sponges. She's productive, yeah. She's productive, yeah. She's a worker, yeah. And that's what they don't tell you. Content creating is a, a nine to nine job. Ain't no off days. I work all day, every day. It's my lunch break. It's my one hour lunch break. <laughs> but okay, it is raining. So I need to be extra focused on this GPS. So I need to get y'all later. Oh, it's raining, raining. All right, y'all, later. It's scary. Oh, not the camera about to die. Ooh. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Cause once it dies, that's it. <laughs> but um, yeah. So let me make sure I stay close to the camera, child. Whew, what a day! So I got home. I edited my video. I created a little sneak peek to post on the grams and the tickety talks. So I saved my post for tomorrow because I wasn't thinking clearly. So I'll, up that, I'll upload that tomorrow since I uploaded the sneak peek today. Um, all in all, it was a really good day, y'all. Like, the fact that I still have energy at all, like, love it. I think just being outside and getting sun has been very helpful. I believe that. So I'm gonna make an effort to do more of that. Um, even if it's just like lounging, outside or like working outside or doing something just being outside and getting fresh air because the way i stay cooped up in my apartment when i'm working it's actually sick so i and i know i've said this before but it's just a hassle like it's not a hassle bringing my things to a different place to work but when you're alone and you have to go to the bathroom and stuff you have to pack everything up and go and then come back repack everything up and going back and that's the hassle for me and i'm just like if i was home i could just save time from commuting save time from having to pack things up and, and unpack and just work and while that is technically more efficient working i just need to get out the house sometimes like for real um, so I am going to try and do more of that because like, as exhausting as it is, I've been running errands and stuff all day, like these past couple of days, I needed it. I needed it. But yeah, I'm about to hop in the shower. FYI, I've been really into the white. So I decided to just get these small towels because most of the time, the only time I really wrap myself in towels is when I'm filming, like my shower content and stuff. So I usually just 
doo -doo -doo, wipe down and I'm out. So I was like, I'll be fine with these little ones. And when I'm recording, I'll just use my regular like comforter sized towels. <laughs> but in the meantime, I've been really enjoying like this whole like mini hotel vibe I've been on lately. And at first I was like, oh my God, like white, like ugh. I feel like me and white, we have such a toxic relationship ever since I was younger. And um, I think we're, I think we're working on it. I think that um, we're bonding a little bit. <laughs> um, and so I want to buy another pack um yeah i'm gonna get more i'm committed i'm committed now and they're a vibe so yeah 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 um yeah i'm gonna buy another pack because when i run through these i don't want to have to break the cycle and go to another one so um i just want to have nothing but white towels in my closets I'm so excited for that. I don't know why, but I feel like it's giving spa vibes. And because they're smaller, they take up so much less room so I can fit more on the um, on the shelves. Love that, because before, <laughs> baby, those huge towels, like as much as I love being able to bury myself inside of them, like just the excessiveness of it all, especially because it's so rare, they take up space. And it's, as for someone who, As someone who loves to interchange their towels frequently, all I did was put more stress on laundry day, okay? Um, and it made me bring out towels that I don't like to use. Do y'all know like, who's I talking to? We're talking about like, when you wait so long to do laundry that you're you're down to the last pairs of drawers that you don't like to wear. <laughs> That's how I feel about towels. Like I have towels I don't love to use because I don't like how they look. And I mean, they're fine. I just don't gravitate towards them. This is such a first world conversation, but hear me out. I have nothing. It's like literally <laughs> the problems we give ourselves, I promise. But um, I just had to say, I just have been really enjoying the white towels. And now every week I'm gonna have a full load of white towels to wash with the three white tops that I have instead of waiting three months before I can finally do a load of whites because I refuse to do an empty load. If it's not full to the brim, I'm not washing them. <laughs> so now I'm gonna have a full load every week. I love that. And I've been using the Dreft, the baby smelling scent boosters. Like I re-upped on my other one, but the baby one, the fake me out Johnson Johnson one just, it's been doing it for me. So now I walk around all day smelling like baby powder and perfume and I just, I truly love that for me. The way I love to burrow my face in my towels or like when I'm washing my face or like the upper parts of my body, I can smell the scent booster in the towels. Love that. Love that. But yeah, that's the update that nobody asked for. I'm gonna do a full on skincare routine because that is the one area of my life that I have not picked up on. Um, and I've been applying sunscreen a lot more than I was before. And I have not been doing a good job of getting rid of the sunscreen from my pores, hence breakouts. So, oh, I didn't get a chance to wash my sponges today. We'll see if I have time to do it tomorrow, but either way, it'll be done this week for sure. I have a couple things on my list to tackle this week. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I am about to hop in the shower and fold some clothes until I call it a night. <sighs> this is my lazy girl skincare. I'm going to put her down because she's been amazing. But tonight, it's, for, it's time for me to go back to my 14-step Dr. Dennis Gross peel process. Okay? I'm committed. I'm committed. But yeah, that's it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to shower. I'm sitting over here naked. I'm ready to go.